We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We've uh, beefed up a little tiny bit, not a ton. Uh, we can't buy axes here, so Gus is axing it with one hand and got a sword in the other. We are almost done buying all the magic. We're going to do that on screen real quick like. <clears throat> and then we'll uh, move on along with our with what the heck we're supposed to be doing. It's fine that he's got an axe and a sword. It's not going to hurt nothing. So, we bought fire, we bought ice. Or bolt, excuse me. We buy ice, we're going to buy another cure. Everybody gets a cure. It is not a bad idea if everybody knows cure. <clears throat> so, here's how you do it. Give it to the person. She knows it. And there's our experience points for our magic. Would really not be a terrible idea to have cure at level two for everybody, but or at least one person. I ain't gonna worry about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna die. So our first stop is going to be just north. I should mention money in this game. In in the previous game, uh, money was set. You know, an imp gave you this much, uh, a wolf gave you this much, sharks gave you this much, ogres, blah, 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 blah. It's not quite the same in this game. Money seems to be fairly random what you get and how much of it. So you could fight four hornets and get six. You could fight one strangler and get 50. It makes money really obnoxious. I don't like it. So we will look through all these, I think, at the start of every video. Start or the end. I don't know. But we didn't look at any last time, so we'll look at them this time. That's Gus. Doesn't look just like him. The transition from the artwork to the actual in-game design is... That's a hornet. <clears> hmm. <throat> it's a little weird. Doesn't always... I'm, I get, like... How are you going to 8-bit that? But then you compare that to, to what we actually got. That doesn't look anything like anybody. Gus is kind of close. Okay, so in most RPGs, when you cross a bridge, uh, bad things happen. Monsters are much stronger. That's not really the case here. That, that was just hornets again. And here's our first stop. This is Gatria. Nice little place. Hi. No, I don't. That's not how vision in this game works, kid. Oh, we can't go in there. Town has changed. Soldiers and monsters. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Let's talk to this guy. Oh, we're good. Uh, these sprites. Like, that front arm is giant. How would you have to be swinging your arms to make the size difference on them that huge? A pub, you say? I like pubs. Pubs are great. They have beer there. Javelin. There's an axe. We can't afford it, though. I think we can sell just that potion. So let's talk about potions here, because we didn't do that last time. So if you look, we have this items thing, right? Everybody can hold two items. So no one needs to use it, but if you equip it, these are the items that you will use in battle. You do not have access to these items in battle, 
you only have access to these items in battle. Okay? That's what that means. And if you notice, when we buy magic, it says can be used as an item. That's what that means. You can equip the book and then use it. Oop, that fast forward is a little too fast. Um, and using it will use a higher level spell. I need to use my slower fast forward. I don't know if I mentioned that the encounter rate in this game is rather high. But it is. So, speaking of money, I just fought four hornets, I got 18 gil. The fight before that was one goblin, I got 25. Is that a silly airship again? That time it was one goblin and I got 12. I may at some point use a money get thing. So, here we are. Oh no, monsters. It's just a goblin. He had $25 on him. So, they said, you know, don't talk to anybody, and they're all soldiers, and talking to them would be a terrible idea, because uh, we will die. We will get wrecked. No one wants that, especially me. So, so we should just steal all the stuff. That's what we should do. Look at the pub. We get there. Sorry. One would wonder. I believe one would. Because the enemies in here are the same as the enemies that are out outside. What I should be doing is using spells. Um, why have the, you know... There's a lot of knights here. Um, but just it's all the wimpy monsters. Hey, buddy. No courtesy. Thanks. No one noticed me walk through the wall here. There's an injured guy. I don't want him anymore. You take him. Potions. Hi. I don't, I don't think you're in any position to barter, sir, but... Hi, Scott. So, if in this universe, when people die, they disappear, if someone just falls down, shouldn't we know that they're not dead? That is clearly not a ring. That is a treasure chest. I know what they're saying, though. It allows the party to view the world map for some reason. Uh, inventory space is rather limited in this game. I like that the bartender is just gone. He just took off. No one seems to care. Um, let's take a look at that world map. Because this one's different. It's unique. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> so, I can't move my finger. And I don't have my mouse pointer on screen. But if you look up at the top left, and then you look at the bottom right, that actually wraps all the way around the world. This entire world is like one giant continent. That, that, I mean, that red dot right below the lower flashing yellow dot, just down and to the left a little bit, that's where we started. There's a little tiny gap before the water, or before the southern continent, the, I guess the southwestern part of the continent. But, I mean, you can almost walk there. It's, it's just like one big landmass. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. It's a neat idea. There are things, I, I generally like this game. I don't like this version of it, but I like the game. Again, I'm supposed to be using magic and I'm not. I think there's some really good music in this game as well. Yeah, how about that encounter rate? Moving on. Best we can. There will probably... Oh, God. So, see, there will probably come a time where I just turn encounters off. I don't want to do that, but if it gets real obnoxious... And there's no benefit to it, because we don't, you know, we don't level up. We didn't stop by and buy the axe. We didn't have money for it anyway. It's fine. First, let's talk to you. Hi. Now yeah, you bet. Ninja Man's gone. Let's not do that yet. I don't know for sure how the inn works in this game, but it is different. The more beat up you are, the more it costs. I don't think it's a one-to-one -one like it is in the uh, NES version. Hi. Hey. I want to learn about Mithril. I want to ask about Mithril. Oh, Joseph. What a guy. Sure. A canoe? A party member? What's all this nonsense? Obtained a box with a canoe in it. Oh boy. So, good old Mindu. Uh, comes with a staff, a copper plate, a magic conch, and an ether. Um, Mindu's thing is magic. He's got a lot of spells, and they're very high leveled. Um, and they're very good spells. Now, if you run out of room because you can only hold so many spells and you want to get rid of one, you can select it and get rid of it. Okay. But if you try to learn it again, if you buy another book, you're going to start out, I think, at level one. At least in the NES version, that's how it worked. Got some pretty standard ones. Basuna takes care of all the status elements that only last in battle for a little while. Isuna takes care of all the ones that last outside. Blink's pretty standard. Barrier. 
shield, shell. Uh, the interesting one. Fog inflicts amnesia on target's mind. That's an odd way of saying whatever that's saying. Here, warp. The interesting one. Warp reduces health. I don't like that. Is swap. So later on, when we have the option to learn this spell, uh, what you want to do to beef up your peoples is you go to an area that's got monsters that are weaker than you and you cast swap on them and it will swap your health and magic with the monster's health and magic meaning you can level up your health and magic really friggin quick I don't think he needs that I think he'll be just fine with that <clears throat> Look, money in this game, as we mentioned, hard to come by. Like, I I would consider using a money cheat. I think that would be a, a fine idea. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Just because it takes so freaking long. Because it's so inconsistent. There's not like, if I go fight this guy, I'll get money. Not really how that works. Because we, like that, that goblin, the one goblin either gives you 12 or 25, but two gave me 56. I don't understand. I don't understand. So just, just, you know, in, in the... For expedience sake. We want to memorize the Dreadnought. We want to ask the Dreadnought. Armored airship? What's an airship? Sid, White Knights, he built an airship. He grew obsessed with it after he built it? You'd think he would do that before he built it. That's just me, I guess. What the hell do I know? So nothing new to buy there. I do want to go and buy that other axe. So let's go do that. Now that we have the canoe, we can get into a random battle. I promise there will be plenty of opportunity to see Min later. Wrong fast forward again. Sorry. Um, unlike Final Fantasy 1, you don't fight random battles in the canoe. <clears throat> and I like that it's still in the game, but you got it. Like, you did one thing. Here's a canoe. Before you even got the boat in Final Fantasy 1, you had to do like two or three things. We will buy one axe. We will let Gus take it. He is done. Don't need that anymore. We sold that for two, we bought it for four, so that's still pretty standard. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There's not a lot of equipment to buy in this game, like others. Other Final Fantasy games, I mean. But there is a lot of magic to buy. If, if you want to buy it all. A lot of it, honestly, you don't really need. One thing I should mention is as you level up your magic, it does cost more MP. It's not charged based like the first game. So right now, Cure takes one, Bolt takes one, Fire takes one, Ice takes one. When we level one of these up, it will take two, then it'll take three, and so on and so forth. You can use some spells outside of battle, which will up its mastery a little bit. It doesn't map up it as much as using it in uh, in battle does. Uh, look at the bottom right. That's where we're at. We're in Paloom. And this town here is... Paloom. Now, we're not going to spend the money to ride. It's not that far. 
we need to go to Poth. Period, you turned into a lady for a second there. That was weird. It's a town of freedom. Why don't you live with me? That doesn't sound very free. Blink, shield, and shell. Uh, shield, I believe, is this game's protect, which is pretty, pretty good. So is blink. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I don't. Bronze shield, we got one of those, two of those, one of those, probably three of those. So, 900, 1100, plus another four is 15, plus another two is 17. 1700 to outfit everybody, and if you're lucky, you'll get 50 gold per fight. And that's just the weapon, or the, the armor. Come talk to this guy for weapons. Should you want to upgrade? I mean, there you go. It's gonna cost you more. So I'm I'm considering it. I don't like doing it, but I also don't want to spend three hours off-screen money grinding. You know. So what did we say we needed for all that equipment? Like seventeen hundred. I just got thirty-seven. From two goblins. Not 56, 37. It's a lopper. Oh boy, let's cast ice at it. Oh, he missed. He's gonna die. I'm trying to level up ice because ice is a very good spell to have all around. It's not bad. Um, yeah. Oh, there was another 15 gold. Of our 1700, we're up to, what, 50? 52? <laughs> I'm going to show this fight because there's something important to discuss. Um, see, we've got seven enemies, and we can only attack the three in front. Unless it's with the spell. This is important information for later. The other thing that kind of works is uh, if the one you target is in the front row, the game auto-targets the back row instead of the front row. It's weird. <laughs> However, the other important thing to, to note, if uh, if you have seven, like we do, and you kill the second row from the front, so there's the one dude and then two, two, and two, if you kill that first batch of two moving from the right to the left, you can't target the back four until you kill the one in front. You know what I'm saying? That's how that works. Now we're in Poth. Look, guys, it's Poth. We found Poth. Are you excited to be in Poth? I sure am, by golly. To the north is Salaman, and to the east is Both. This game likes its Fs. You look different. Ask about airship. But you're Sid. Shouldn't I give it to you? Aren't you the boss man, boss man? Talking to the airship guy, he will fly us to a couple of different places. We want to walk because, you know, money, etc. Can we buy here? Same crap. armor. This town is much bigger on the inside. It looks tiny on the outside. Yeah, what did we say? 3, 6, 9, then 11, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. 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 
I'm giving the better armor to Virion. Um, probably should give it to Gus, but Gus's defense is innately better anyway, so. And I want to keep Maria's equipment load light so it ups her agility more and lets her start to be a little faster. I think you have the same spells. Yeah. I, I want to say every store sells Cure. I think. I don't remember for sure. <clears throat> Traditionally, i am just hit half an hour in my recording time, so I would, I would be stopping, but since I'm cutting out so much for battles, I'm going to keep going. I'll get to about 45 minutes, then I'll stop. Oh no, it's a soldier! Let's throw ice. Eh, we've seen ice. Let's throw lightning at him. Uh-oh, he's got arrows! That's right, hit him with a stick. There you go. As the spells level up, the spell animations do get a little more interesting. I guess that's worth mentioning. Now, I don't remember for sure. New enemy! I actually think we want to go west, not east. <clears throat> Let's use fire on the goblin guard! So if I just kill these two, and this dude's still alive, I can't hit that back row. Does that make any better sense now? Goblin guard's just stronger goblin. Not much, though. Uh, Gus didn't target this one when he auto-targeted because there was one in front of him. It's still technically like the whole other row, I guess. Oh boy! Mindu got better at hitting things with sticks. I think to the right something else. Bloodsuckers, it's an upgraded strangler. We've, we're in the second video and we're getting pallet swapped enemies already. Look at that fancy new shield, huh? You know how bronze is kind of silvery colored? Sure you do. Fifteen. Again, seventeen hundred. We just got fifteen. Yeah, there it is. There's town. Hey, town. I missed it. I'll try and remember to show it off later. Um, we got some garlic. This game also introduced enemies dropping things after battle. Soldiers drop garlic from time to time. And Salaman. That nice snowy town. Enslaved waterfalls. Are you Joseph? Hi, Joseph. Do you know about the airship? Do you know about Dreadnought? Do you know about Mithril? Oh. about wild roses. Yeah. Well, you're kind of a jerk too, buddy. We like Joseph. Joseph's a very important Final Fantasy character. There's our revive thingy. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy IX knows that. Anything here in the magic shop? Life. Life is good. I think we want at least two people to learn life. Um, Banish, I think, works on the undead. 
And one person knowing warp isn't a bad idea. So that's 3,000, 4,500, plus the 17 we need for our uh, armor. So if we want to get everything, we're looking at like 7,000 gold. And just a reminder, we're still earning maybe 30. Look, potions, very expensive. Eye drops, antidotes, very expensive. Everything in this game is very expensive. Consumables. Consumables, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that you you do magic in this game. That's all I can really tell you. So we can buy another helmet. So let's do that. Left us with one dollar. I think I will uh, <laughs> all of that for a defense boost of one. I'm not going to use that. Also, the first game stacked items. Remember that? Didn't take up so much of your inventory space because items were stacked. Doesn't work in this game. Um, something else I should mention, since you can hold two things here. If you want to swap weapons mid-battle, you can. Just stick one of them in there. That will be very important for later in the game uh, when we come across a very handy weapon that is much more handy uh, elsewhere. You'll see what I mean. So it would be really great to buy one of those and two of those and one of those. So add 16, 24, tw yeah... Another 2,500 to the 7,000 we already need, plus the, the, the thousand we've got left. So if you want to get all of the stuff, you can you can raise up your 10,000 gil 30 to 50 at a time. 18 hours later, when you've got all your money put together, you can buy the stuff. Now, you will find a lot of it throughout the course of the game. I don't want to make it sound like you won't. Um... But, man, ladies and gentlemen, it's just, it's just such. So we're, we're going to the falls. That is our next, uh, our next dungeon, our first dungeon, really. In that, we're going to find 400 gil. We're going to find 200 gil. In the NES version, that was 210, not 400 and 200. 210, so less than half. We're going to find some eye drops. We're going to find a high potion. In the NES, it was a potion. We're going to find another potion. We're going to find another 200 and another 250. So that's four or five, six, seven, eight. That's 1,050. In the NES version, it was one and 50. So the NES version, your your total for the, uh, the loot is going to be 250, 252 as opposed to the 1,050 you get in this. Uh, there's also another fire spell, a warp spell, and uh, obviously we're going to find some mithril while we're rescuing the workers there. Um, so, it's just... You will get money. You just won't get a lot of money. And I'm going to look here and see. Will this tell me? PlayStation. Station. No, it. Oh, Gil. So the uh, the Goblin Guard will give you six to fifty, anywhere from six to fifty. Isn't that nice? Isn't that helpful? Isn't that super duper wonderful? Um, the Semit Falls we're gonna visit appeared as a unexplored land in Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, it says, a site of his significance for the ancient Palamecian Empire. Mithril was mined beneath these majestic falls while extraction, a fuel used by airships of the day, could be gleamed for their magical waters. Oh, excuse me, not extraction. It's very hard. Extasium. I'm very far away and it's a very small picture. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. 
we're going to end this episode here. I am absolutely going to click my tools, go to my thing, and click infinite guilt. Because I really don't want to mess with the doing all of that. There. Did you see it? Did you see that it popped up? So we need one of those. All right, come over here. We're going to buy one of those, two of those, one of those. I don't really care. This is not a look how good I am at this game kind of thing. This is a here's a game I played once. We lost the footage because the thing happened. So we're going to do it again. We have, we have too much money now. We broke the money. Now, I'm not going to go nuts and, like, just absolutely beef up everybody for everything. But, you know, we're going to... We're going to save some... We're going to try and save some stuff here. You take it. You take it. You take it. Because you're going to have the le least health of everybody, Maria. So, you will have the least to lose. That's how that works. Uh, speaking of, we've got a couple people who need some health. Pro tip, never use an inn to refill your health in this game. Once you have the cure spell, cast it as often as you can. Um, and then uh, just refresh your MP. It's going to be cheaper and you're going to level up your spells quicker. Okay, I think that'll do it for today. We'll see you guys next time.